given question a block weighing 490 newton just starts moving down a rough inclined plane when supported by a force of 200 newton acting parallel to the plane in upward direction the same block is on the verge of moving up the plane when pulled by a force of 300 newton acting parallel to the plane find the inclination of the plane and coefficient of friction between the inclined plane and the block Let us understand given question with the help of diagram. 490 Newton block when supported with 200 Newton force, then it is moving in the downward direction on inclined plane, which is making angle theta with with the horizontal line. So we will show here the motion of the block. So motion of the block is in the downward direction. Now the same block, when supported by 300 newton force, then it is moving in the upward direction. So we will show here the motion of the block, and we have to find out the angle theta as well as the frictional force in between the block and the surface. Now we will draw the free body diagram. Now, if we observe this inclined surface is same for both the cases, block is also same. Only difference is that the applied force here is 200 and here is 300 newton force. Now we will show the weight. So weight always acts in vertically downward direction, passing through center of the block. So we will show here weight, and here also weight, and it is 490 newton. And direction is downward direction. Now, when the block is moving, so in this case it is moving in the downward direction. So we have to show frictional force in opposite direction, and frictional force parallel to the surface. So it is inclined. So we will show here. So here the direction is opposite direction of motion, and here we have to show direction is opposite direction of the motion. Now this frictional force direction is opposite, so here applied force is also different. So we will use here the suffix one that is this frictional force is F one, and here this frictional force is F two. Now there is the normal reaction in because here this block rests on the inclined surface. So this normal reaction in is always perpendicular to the surface, and direction is towards the block. So we will show here a uh, perpendicular line to this inclined surface. We have to draw, and this normal reaction is in, and it is passing through the center of the block. And here also we have to show normal reaction in. Now, if we observe the forces are parallel to the inclined plane as well as perpendicular to the inclined plane. Now we have to resolve this weight 490 newton into two component. One component is parallel to the inclined plane, and other component is perpendicular to the inclined plane. So I will take one line parallel to this inclined plane, and I will draw here one line. Now this component will meet at the center of the block, and one component perpendicular. That is, I will take parallel to this end, and I will draw here one line. Now, in the same way, we have to show here. Now, how to decide the value of these components? So, for that, we have to first define the angle. Now, here is the horizontal line and inclined line, making an angle theta. Now, for this horizontal line, this vertical line is perpendicular line, and for this inclined line. This component is perpendicular line. Now, these two perpendicular line meeting at the center and at the point of the contact, there is the same angle theta. So we can show here the angle is theta, and here also angle is theta. Now we will decide the value four ninety cos of theta for this component because it is nearby to angle theta. Four ninety cos of theta, and here also. This it is away from this angle theta, so it is 490 sine of theta. Then here 490 cos of theta, and here 490 sine of theta. So 
So the free body diagram is getting completed. Now we will move for the calculation part. So first we will consider the equilibrium for this force diagram for the 200 Newton applied force. Now we will take summation of forces normal to plane. Normal means perpendicular to plane. So from diagram only we have to write. So N minus 490 cos of theta because this component and this N both are in opposite direction. So N is equal to 490 cos of theta. Now by the law of friction, so we know that there is the relation in between this F1 and N. So ratio of F1 by N is equal to coefficient of friction mu. Now this value is also unknown. So we will write F1 is equal to mu into N and value of N is 490 cos of theta. So this value of F1. Now we will take summation of forces parallel to the plane. Now forces parallel to plane. If we observe here is 200. So if I take here plus sign for this direction then minus 490 sin theta and here we have to take plus F1 because direction is in the same direction of 200 Newton. Now this F1 we have to write in terms of theta because we have to find out the value of theta. So F1 is equal to mu 490 cos theta that we have to write. So how we can simplify this 200 is equal to 490 sin theta minus 490 mu cos of theta and we will give here the equation number 1. Now we will move to the second diagram. So here also summation of forces normal to plane. So n minus 490 cos theta is equal to 0 and therefore n is equal to 490 cos theta. Now there is the relation in between this F2 and n that is the law of friction. So F2 by n is equal to mu and therefore F2 is equal to mu 490 cos of theta. Then the summation of forces parallel to plane is equal to 0. So from the diagram we have to write. So 300 then minus F2 minus 490 sin theta is equal to 0. So we will simplify this. 300 is equal to mu 490 cos theta plus 490 sin theta. And this is the equation number 2. Now if we observe theta terms are on the right hand side and the constant terms are on the left hand side. So we will solve these two equations and we will find out the value theta. If we add the equation number 1 and equation number 2 then on left hand side 300 plus 200 that is 500 and here 490 mu cos theta is having negative sign and for the equation number 2 it is positive sign. So this plus minus is getting cancelled. So here 490 plus 490 that is 980 and sin theta is common term. So we can easily find out this sin theta. So 500 by 980 that is equal to 0 0.51 and theta is equal to 30.67 degree. So this one answer we get. Now how to find out the coefficient of friction. So for that we have to put theta is equal to 30.67 in equation number 2. So we can put in equation number 1 also. So if we put this theta is equal to 30.67 then we get here 300 is equal to mu into 490 into 0 0.86 plus 490 into 0 0.51. Now this 490 into 0 0.51 that is 249.9 and we will transfer to the left hand side. And then this 421.4 mu. So to calculate mu we have to transfer this term to the denominator. And then mu is equal to 0 0.118.